Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today, so let's go ahead and get started. And for those of you that are curious, my local Dollar Trees did have the price increase this last week, so I did pay $1.25 for everything that I'm going to show you in this video. So let's start off with some stocking stuffers or things that I picked up to use as stocking stuffers, starting with these bath bombs. And they're so cute, and look how thick they are. Um, so I found an astronaut and then a rainbow. There was also a unicorn, but the ones that I saw that they had left were all broken. So I just picked up these two for my daughter. I'll probably just put one in her stocking and save the other one for like Valentine's Day. Um, but these are by the brand mind body and soul and they are both vanilla scented i have no idea if these are good or not i've never um, tried these but honestly as long as they fizz and maybe change the watercolor i know she'll be happy and then for both of my kids i picked up these hot chocolate bombs which i was really excited to see at dollar tree so they're just hollow chocolate balls filled with marshmallows and you just drop it in um, a cup of milk, of warm milk, and you have some hot cocoa with marshmallows. I did pick up like a big pack of these, not this brand. This is the Palmer brand, which is normally sold at Dollar Tree, especially during Easter. But I picked up a like 16 pack of these at Costco last year, and they were so gross. They were not good at all. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are going to be good because I do like the Palmer brand chocolate they're usually pretty good so picked up those for my kids and then for my son i found these electronic little characters for the ca the charging cable you just put them on the end and i've seen this brand at walmart in like the three and five dollar bins for stocking stuffers in the electronic section um, because i've purchased these before so I was happy to find it at Dollar Tree and he is older, so it's harder to find him stocking stuffers. And then for my daughter, I found a couple of things in the toy section. So I found this unicorn bead or bracelet kit, which I thought was really cute. And she loves making um, bracelets, necklaces, things like that. She, just this last weekend, she took all of like my Dollar Tree beads and she was sitting on my bed watching um, like cartoons and she just made a ton of little necklaces and bracelets. It was so cute. So I picked that up for her. And then I also found this fun like Play-Doh kit that you can um, put the little Play-Doh inside here and then you have like crazy hair. You can do like different combinations. It also comes with a knife and a comb. So I thought that was really cute. I didn't really get a lot of things from the toy section. Honestly, I don't think a lot of things are worth the dollar or dollar twenty-five in the toy section. Um, when you find name brand toys like the Hot Wheels, Barbies, things like that, I think those items are worth it and even like some of the puzzles. But for the most part, the toy section is just pass. So I picked those up for my kids and I found these gift card boxes that I thought were so cute. I'm going to use this one for um, my son's stocking. So inside, there's just a little spot to... Put the gift card so i thought these were really cute so picked up that one for my son and then this one i will probably do a gift card um, for a friend or family member so picked up those and for my daughter i got some coloring books i found a jojo siwa coloring book she loves jojo siwa she has um, her backpack she has bows she has shoes so I know she's going to be really excited about this. And then I also picked up these jumbo coloring books. Some of the coloring books I don't think are worth a dollar. Um, but when you can find like the jumbo ones or like special character um, coloring books, I think those are definitely worth the money. And I just love the images in these. This one is just a unicorn 
um, coloring and activity book that I know she's going to love coloring. And honestly, I picked this one up kind of for both of us, for um, her and I, because I loved the sweets theme in here. This would be so fun for, for me to color, honestly. So there was a couple of images in here that I was like, ooh, I want to do that one. And oh, this one, this is the one right here that I think would be fun to color. And sometimes we do that together. We will put a show on Netflix in the living room and we'll get out all of our colored pencils and color crayons and we'll just color. And sorry about my voice, you guys. I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. All right, so I think that was it for the stocking stuffers. I did find this random little caboodle makeup organizer in the makeup section. So I found it down at the bottom and I thought this was so cute. I definitely am going to decal this with my daughter's name on it. Maybe use some holographic or opal um, vinyl for this and put some like pretend makeup and a little spot for her to put her jewelry and all of her like necklaces that she makes. I thought that was so cute. A while back they came out with the bigger caboodle um, boxes. I actually used one of them <laughs> in my desk for like my little tools that I use a lot. So I have like nails and my like pliers and stuff in here and I just thought it was really cute. So this is the one that they came out with a few months ago and then they came out with this one again that has the mirror and the the little tray the other one doesn't have that so i thought this was really cute and then i also got this for my daughter she's having dress up days at school this next week i also got her the little reindeer headband but this one was so cute it's just a little santa belt on a hat with the candy cane stripes so picked up that for her and something I was really excited to find this week were these nail strips. I found a ton of them too. So I found different brands. So I found the brand Broadway. I found some Kiss ones and I'll go through them. Um, but these are all those like stick on nails that have been really popular recently. And I am wearing some right now. These are the Kiss brand. And I'm still getting used to them. I don't know if I'm applying them correctly, um, but I did use these on my nails. So they're just like press on um, like stickers and they're supposed to last about a week. So um, this one comes with the French tip and the full strip. One thing I will say about at least this brand, the Kiss one, is that the they were too narrow some of them were too narrow for my nails my nails were a little bit wider than the strip so i definitely think next time i'm going to paint my nails which is something i really don't like doing because i'm bad at it but i think i'm going to paint my nails the base color of the nail strip just so you don't see like this gap but i also found these ones by kiss how fun would these be during the summer and i love anything with animal print on them so found those by Kiss. And then these are all by the brand Broadway Nails. Look at how fun these are. Oh my gosh. So we have that one. This one I'm very excited for. Again, because of the animal print. Has some like psychedelic nails. And then these ones have, oops, sorry about the lighting. These ones have little peacock feathers on them so basically what you do is just you just put them on your nail and then the end of it you kind of flip over and then file it off i found this brand nailene so they have like three or four different brands of the sticker nails these ones i'm gonna turn the lighting down these ones have like a lace look which i can't wait to use as well and then this one was different this is a nail tattoo by kiss so this isn't like a full-on strip nail it's just a tattoo so you are supposed to paint your nail um and then let it dry and then put these on 
but I think again that's how I'm going to do these from now on just because um the strips were too narrow for my nails and there is like I don't know if you can see that but there is a gap um in some of them but still a really exciting find for me at Dollar Tree in the beauty section also in the makeup section I did pick up another pair of the Ioni lashes I think these are excellent definitely worth the money I use these all the time and those were the natural light wispies and I only picked up a couple of like Christmas wrapping papers or bags I found this one because I already hauled a bunch of them and honestly there was a lot that I wanted to pick up as well this week but I was like no I don't need all of those so I just found this one and I think I'm going to use this one next year and possibly like cut it out and frame it because it's so cute so picked up that and then i forgot that i had purchased a couple weeks ago the um, nightmare before christmas wrapping paper for my daughter and um when we were wrapping presents the other night i was like where what am i going to use for my daughter because i usually wrap my kids presents in different wrapping papers so like for my son i use the star wars and then for my daughter, I couldn't wrap her gifts because I totally forgot about that Nightmare Before Christmas wrapping paper. So this week I went and got Hello Kitty. And I just love this. This is so cute for her. And so, yeah, I wrap my everyone's presents, get a different wrapping paper. Even my husband, he gets his own wrapping paper. And then for the Santa gift for my kids, um, I usually have to find something that they haven't seen me haul <laughs> and, um, well, at least for my daughter, not for my son anymore because he's 13, but that's how my son figured out the whole Santa thing was he's like, you use the same wrapping paper as, <laughs> as, um, Santa. <laughs> and that's how he kind of figured it out when he was like, I don't know, nine, um, so now I have to be more careful and use a different wrapping paper. In the office section, I found more of the bubble mailers and these are the 11 by eight and a half size. A few weeks ago I hauled, I think they were five by seven or six by eight or something and the like really pretty holographic blues and pinks. And then this week I found the large ones in like these Christmas colors. So these would be awesome if you have packages to send for Christmas. I mean, it's getting really close to Christmas, what we have like less than two weeks now. Um, but if you're watching this video today and you have something to send, run to Dollar Tree and grab these and get your packages out. So picked up those. And in the crafters square section, I found some new canvases that I was really excited about because they're black. I've never seen um, these at Dollar Tree before, so I did pick up two, and these are the eight by 10 size. I think these would look awesome um, with some holographic heat transfer vinyl. I think these would look awesome. I think I'm gonna try to do that. And then I also found these larger canvases. These are the flat style canvases. I've never seen them this big before though which was really exciting. So these are 11 by 14. So this is really exciting. I picked up again, two of each of those for crafting. And then I also picked up um, just a wooden heart because Valentine's day is coming up, is the next holiday after Christmas. So I need to start my crafts for that soon. It's been a little bit since I've hauled any new stickers from Dollar Tree. Well, actually these aren't stickers. These are rub-on transfers, which I absolutely love because um, they don't add any bulk to the pages in my journals or in my planners. So I was really excited to find some new ones. And so I found this one, which has a very vintage look to it which is my favorite to use in my junk journal. So picked up that one. And then I found this one, which would be perfect for Valentine's Day crafts. So it has like this whole love theme on it. And then these ones are gold. 
So I found this one for summer. And I especially love this one because of the flamingos. And one of the quotes says, be a flamingo, stay balanced, stay by your flock, and always be fabulous. So I love that. So I picked up that one. And then this one would also be great for Valentine's Day crafts. These go, these transfer on a lot of different things. You can put them on paper, you can put them on wood. Um, and there's kind of like a little guide on the back of different like projects and materials that you can use. And so I love these rub on transfers. And then I am going to get back into planning in 2022. I bought a couple of new happy planners. So I'm really excited. And for that, I picked up these letter stickers in these beautiful iridescent or um, holographic colors. So blue, green, and this one's like white and pink. This one looks more opal than anything, but I thought these would be great to um, maybe put the, the month in these like stickers for the month. I need to pick up more if I'm if I'm going to plan on doing that for every single month of the year but I thought this was a good start so I went ahead and picked up those and in the tech section I found more of these little mask holders they're actually earbud um, holders but I use them for mask holders I actually decal these and sell them so I found these and they just have a little pouch where you can store your earbuds or your mask and what i like to do is add a little keychain to the end of them to clip on to backpacks or keychain whatever um, so i found these love the marble and the galaxy and for my dog's stockings i got a bunch of dog toys i have three dogs um, so I do need to get a lot of things for their stockings. I still need to go to Walmart and get their little dog treats. But I think the dog toys at Dollar Tree, um, even at the $1.25 price point, is amazing for dog toys. So I did find um, quite a few for them. And these are excellent quality. These like really big puffy ones. And they're cute. I have hauled these before on my channel, um, so if you've seen these, then it's not going to be anything new to you, but I have lots of different toys for them, and all of them are squeaky toys. I like this one. It wasn't me. That one was really cute. So got them some toys, and then I also got them these little rope balls. So I picked up those for my dogs. And for the last section of this haul, these are all going to be things or blanks that I picked up to use for sublimation. I recently posted a video of how I set up my Epson printer for sublimation. And I also did a little tutorial um, of the print settings and how to um, sublimate a t-shirt. So if you're interested in learning about sublimation or if you've been wanting to try it out, um, I definitely recommend go watch that video. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the things that I picked up for that. Starting with these socks. So I did get men's and women's socks and these are polyester so that's very important with sublimation is that you have a high polyester count if you aren't aware um, you can of course use some cotton fabrics if you have a special spray or you can bleach shirts that's another way but these are 98 percent polyester and these are 97 for the women's so i thought these would be really cute you could do like something on the bottom maybe put like if you can read this on one sock and then bring wine on the second sock so that's what i picked these up for was to do like cute little stains on the bottom of the socks as gifts and i found these microfiber or 100 percent polyester washcloths so a lot of this stuff i honestly picked up to practice on because i am still new um, to sublimation so a lot of these things I can also use after I practice with them, like the washcloths um, I can use to clean afterwards. 
In the bath section, I found these 100% polyester pillowcases. So I did find gold and blue. These were the lightest colors that I did find. Um, you also want to sublimate on like lighter colors to get more vibrant results. So I picked up those to try out. And for the kitchen section, I found these 100% polyester towels, which I purchase all the time. The towels and the pot holders, I probably already have some, but these are also 100% um, polyester right up here is where you can see that. Um, so picked up those and then in the baby section, which is not a section I shop in be normally because I don't have um, any babies, but I thought these would be so cute to do customized baby blankets for a friend that's having a baby. Um, so I found the cutest little embroidered, are these towels? Oh, these are towels, not blankets. Um, but these are hooded towels and they're embroidered. They're not like, um, like the cheapy, I guess like stamp on or whatever they <laughs> normally use, but these are embroidered and they're also 100% polyester on the back. Um, it says that. So I thought these would be really cute. You could pay, maybe put the child's name or the baby's name on it. Um, so these I also picked up to not only practice on, but to also give as gifts for friends that have babies. And this was an unexpected, I guess, thing. Honestly, I was going through Dollar Tree and I was just looking at all the tags looking at every like material I could to see what it was made out of. And I was surprised that these table runners were 100% polyester because they look satin, um, but they are 100% polyester. So I thought of maybe doing a DIY and making one of those like scroll art banners you know, where it has like the wood at the top and the bottom and then you put like a cute saying in there. I thought these would be really cute for that. And there's a lot of material in here because it's 12 inches by 72 inches. So I'm going to try that out. I think maybe for Valentine's Day, make a cute little Valentine's Day um, wall art piece. And the very last things I found to use for sublimation are the glitter notebooks. Um, I've seen a few videos where you can sublimate on the Dollar Tree glitter notebooks. So I did pick up three different colors. I found like this taupe color and then this fuchsia color and then pink. I don't know how well it's going to show up on these two colors. I think for sure the sublimation will look, um, I guess more vibrant than on these, but I think these would make excellent gifts, especially during back to school. You can make personalized, um, notebooks for your kids, um, or you could sell them, um, just kind of depends. But I thought again, I would get these things to practice on since I still am new to sublimation. All right, guys, so that's it for today's haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you aren't currently subscribed and love Dollar Tree hauls and crafts and all of that good stuff. I'd love to have you here on my channel. And also don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified of every time I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.